What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a great day. In this short After Effects tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to animate a clock inside After Effects. So it's going to look something like this guy. But what we're going to be doing is animating the hands of the clock inside After Effects. So you'll have control over the second hand, the minute hand, and the hour hand. So I downloaded a graphic from FreePick which you can find below if you want to follow along with the same graphic or if you have your own clock, feel free to apply the same principles. But let's get started in After Effects and see how to separate the components and start animating and designing the clock. But as always, feel free to hit the like button. It really helps my channel out. And with that, let's dive into it. All right, so I have the clock and hands file and I'm going to drag and drop it into After Effects. And what we're going to do first is create the composition. So go to Composition, New Composition and we'll just name this clock animation. Feel free to adjust as needed. I'm gonna leave the settings alone. The only thing though, I'm gonna make this a 10 minute composition. That way we can actually see uh, the effect that we're applying to the clock over time. That way we can really see it, all the hands moving at least. And the background color, I'm gonna choose red. You're more than welcome to leave it black or a different color, but this way we can see the difference since this image is black and white, it will be hard to see. If we use it up against the um, you know transparent background or if the background is black because the edges of the clock's black. So first we're gonna hit S on the keyboard and scale this guy down. Here we go, guys, we've got our clock in here. And what we're gonna do first is actually separate these into four separate layers. So we're gonna duplicate the layers, draw masks around them, and then pre-compose them so we can work with them separately. All right, so hit Command D on your keyboard three times to duplicate it, and we'll go to the bottom one, grab your pen tool, and we'll just draw a mask around the clock. And then go up to the next layer and we'll draw a mask around the second hand and then the next layer draw a mask around the minute hand and then the last layer which is the hour hand draw a mask around that guy awesome so you, this is what you should have so far four different layers that are masked individually so if we solo one uh, you'll notice that each one is separated all right, so the next part is what we're going to do is center all of these to the composition. So with the bottom layer selected, make sure the align panel is uh, open. If you can't see it, feel free to go to window align. And what we're going to do is align to the center vertically and horizontally to the composition. So make sure your composition's there and do align vertically and horizontally. And do this for all of the layers. That way everything is centered. Awesome. So once you got that, what we're going to do next is pre-compose. And for, uh, one of the reasons why we want to pre-compose it is because each layer's anchor point is a little bit different. So this kind of uniforms everybody and puts everybody back in the center. All right. So we're going to click on this layer, go to layer pre-compose, and we'll name this clock. And make sure you check the box to move all attributes into the new composition and click OK. And I forgot what this one is. This is the second hand. So we'll click on the next layer, go to layer, new, pre-compose, second hand. And this should be minute hand. And this should be hour hand. And you'll notice the anchor point is now in the center for everybody. So what we're gonna do is fine tune this a little bit. So we're gonna solo the clock layer and solo the second hand. And the second hand is pretty good. What we wanna just make sure is that the anchor point is dead center. So as the second hand rotates, it will rotate directly from the center and it won't look uh, very weird. So what we're gonna do is grab the pan from behind tool, which is up here, keyboard shortcut is Y. We're just gonna drag this to the center like that. And we're gonna do this for the minute hand as well. But um, differently with the minute hand and the hour hand, we're actually gonna move the layer so that the white dot is in 
the center. So just hit P on your keyboard to bring up the position and we'll just reposition this accordingly till the white is in the center of the clock. And then we'll take the pan from behind tool and then move the anchor point to the center. And then the same thing we'll do with the hour hand as well. So hit P on the keyboard, reposition so the white is in the center of the clock. And then grab your pan from behind tool and move it to the center. You can also bring up your title and action safe and you can actually see the center of the composition. It is a little bit off, but as long as it's centered to the clock itself, you should be fine. All right, so we got everybody all set and ready to start animating. All right, so you know, you can crunch the numbers and do very complicated maths to try to come up with how long does the second hand have to rotate before the minute hand rotates and then the hour hand rotates. But I did all the math for you, so all you have to do is just follow along and punch in the code uh, that I'm gonna add to each of the layers. So the first one is the second hand. So if we untwirl this, uh, we'll hit R on the keyboard just to bring up rotation. And for the second hand, we're gonna hit option, click on this top, uh, stopwatch, and we'll type in time, times six. And this basically, what it's saying is it will move, it will rotate the layer six degrees every second. And if you do the math, it'll come out to be, you know, one revolution every, uh, 60 seconds. So you'll notice that right there at 60, around 60 seconds, it passes the 12 hand. So that is on point. And for the minute hand, we'll hit R again, hold down option and click on the stopwatch and we'll type in time. And for this one, we'll hit times 0.1 and let go. That way for every Every time it crosses the 12, you'll notice that the minute hand passes the one. You'll notice everything is timed up pretty good. And then lastly, the most ridiculous one, the hour hand, we'll hit R and we'll hit option, click on the stopwatch and we'll hit time times 0 0.006. Click off. And if we go all the way out here, you'll notice at the 10 minute mark, it is indeed around almost at the one. So that is pretty much on point to be your hour hand. So everybody is rotating nicely. All right, guys, so that's how to do that. And say if you wanted to actually take this layer and maybe do some speed ramping or enhance the speed. So maybe it speeds up the time, slows down. My best recommendation to do this is just pre-compose all these layers and then uh, edit the time remapping of the pre-composed layer. So to do that, what we're gonna do here is um, I just hit Command A to duplicate everybody. We'll hit U to collapse the keyframes. A good shortcut to pre-compose these layers is Shift Command C. And we'll just, you can name it whatever you want, but make sure move all attributes is there and click OK. And then what you'll wanna do is just right click, go to time, enable time remapping. And what this enables you to do is maybe make a keyframe out here and then bring this a lot closer to the first keyframe. That way you have something quicker and you can even make it even more quicker. You can add curves. So if you select these, I'll hit function nine, F9 on the keyboard to make easy ease keyframes. You can go into the graph editor and really fine tune you know, the animations and stuff and do whatever you want with your clock. So, you know, you can get as creative as you want here. That's basically how you create, animate a clock and then edit it for your needs. So I hope this tutorial has helped you. Thanks so much for watching. If you wanna learn more about After Effects, I did put together a playlist. I'll link it right up here. Feel free to go watch it. Similar tutorials to this one with motion graphics and stuff like this. A lot of different time uh, you know, expressions and different things such as the time expression I used in this tutorial. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.